Welcome to another tour to Nokia Lumia 535 smartphone, which is quite a beautiful device with a 5 inch screen. And we already showed you guys here this first ever Microsoft smartphone. Or actually, not ever, they had their try uh, two years ago with the um, Kin. But now we have here this brand new um, 5 inch first Nokia made actually in device, you could say, but now of course with the Microsoft logo. So you can see here that we have the 5 inch QHD display, um, which does not have the glance screen because it's a TFT device, but otherwise we have, of course, on the front um, an, a VGA camera and on the back a 5 megapixel camera with a flash. We have interchangeable back covers, um, as we will show you in a second. Then here on the other side we have the on and off uh, switch volume rocker. On the bottom you can uh, charge it via micro USB, of course, and there's also a speaker right here. And on the top you have your 3.5mm headphone jack and nothing else right there. So if we take off the back cover, you will see that this is a dual SIM device, it's also available with only one SIM card depending on the country or carrier. So you can see here we have two SIM cards and also here the micro and SD card so you guys can expand your internal memory which should be 8 gigs. Uh, but you have also um, 15 gigabytes of free OneDrive memory and you can expand this with up to 128 gigs. You can see the battery says also here Microsoft, it's a quite big battery, you can actually take it out and show you guys how big it is. So we have here um, 7 watt hours, which is 1,900 milliamps, quite big and it should last you at least, I think, one and a half, two days because uh, thanks to the not high resolution display, this is actually um, not needing that much power. Also, the Snapdragon, Quark, um, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 200 processor is totally fast enough here for this Windows Phone. We have even one gigabyte of RAM, so you can also play nicely any game that you want, even with the um, Xbox the store, and even all of them that are installed in the Xbox store. The microphone is right here on the bottom, you can barely see it, but it's built in right there, and the speaker is also here in the uh, bottom part, um, close to the camera. So you can see here now Windows Phone 8.1 running, where we have the optional thanks to the latest updates uh, and that we have here the interchangeable background um, tiles which is quite nice. I have also Cortana built in which is again only available for a few languages and then otherwise your regular Windows Phone OS. Quite a few apps of course pre-installed like for example wallets, storage sense which is again something new that you can see how much space you have on your phone, on your SD card, and you can also easily clean it up. Skype, then you have, as I said, two SIM cards, so you can um, set the settings on both SIM, card, SIM cards. You can also change the color of the bottom part here of the uh, Windows buttons. I find it a little bit sad that they are not externally off the screen, but, well, at least now you can change the colors with this. You can see that we have even the Facebook Messenger here pre-installed, so that's quite nice. So Facebook is also available, of course, on Windows phones now and all kinds of other messengers like WhatsApp, um, but Hangouts not yet by Google. Then you have still your Nokia Lumia apps like the Lumia Camera, CinemaGraph and the Selfie app, for example, which is giving you a few more options here for the Selfie camera. So you can see here the uh, front camera has really, really good quality. Also, just go here and check out the album. You can set a few settings here with the three dots, like for example, timer. There's of course no flash option for the front yet. Then you have your Internet Explorer, where you can show you guys a little bit the keyboard. So it's in Hungarian right now, but you can of course change the languages quite easily on the bottom and you can also swipe, which is I think really nice to just write long words like Washington and it will also take care of misspelling stem, which is again quite a neat feature. So enough about the keyboard there, let's go on, we have of course alarm. Cortana, I will show you guys in a second. It's a little bit loud here, so it's not that easy for me. You have also here by Gameloft now a hub, which is quite nice to um, have because Gameloft is one of the top publishers on Android and iOS also in terms of games. And now they are also supporting Windows Phone, which is a big plus. And then you have also your health and fitness app, which is again something that um, Google and um, Apple are also doing 
but you need internet connection for that, so I can't show you guys anything about that right now, which is a little bit sad. You can get rid of the buttons on the bottom, as you're able to see, which is quite nice, and get them back by just sliding here up, and you can also get your notification bar here on the top, where you can not slide to left and right, but you can easily set your light, camera, um, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth settings, and you can go to all settings, where you have all kinds of other options, like for example, you can change the language, of course, there's really a lot of languages available. You can also check uh, with battery saver how much battery you're using and how you can save even more, like for example, estimated one, one and a half days are maybe left if you use it the same as we did right now, and you can also see what's using the most, like for example, the camera is really a battery hungry um, app. So, let's try Cortana. <laughs> But again, that also needs internet, so that's a little bit sad. You can see it's a little bit slow right now, but this is a pre-production device, so don't worry about that. When it comes to market in mid-December, it shouldn't be um, as bad. Now, what's also really great is that Nokia still has or had, they actually still have their um, offline map navigation, so you can actually just download any um, country in the world to your smartphone, and you don't need to have 3G connection or 2G connection or just Wi-Fi anywhere, you can really just use your offline maps. There is no maps pre-installed right now, but usually can really just download maps for anywhere and then um, use navigation wherever you want. So I already showed you guys the front camera. Let's try out the back camera. Let's take a picture, for example, here of the 930. You can see it started out quite quickly and it's also also has a really nice quality with the 5 megapixel and with the flash it also um, is perfect for low light shots. Mm -hmm. You can really go close and see still all the details. So this is really quite nice and you have all kinds of settings here on the top. Not only the flash and white balance but also here ISO, contrast and everything else is right available there. Then you have also of course the possibility to just set all kinds of other things and if you are stuck somewhere you can also use the tutorials um, here to learn a little bit more about your device and your camera. You can also here switch to video mode of course, you can shoot in 720p. Then you have also the possibility to do smart sequences, so for example in sports when somebody would be moving around you can just really shoot all kinds of pictures like a serial shot and then um, that will be also quite nice to just capture the perfect moment. So we talked a little bit about the software, hardware-wise, for example, when you compare it with the Nokia Lumia 930 in terms of size, you can see here that they are actually about the same because both have the 5-inch um, screen, a little bit different in size though still when it comes to thickness and quality, of course, this is a low price device, 150-200 bucks um, is what the uh, 535 costs and you can see here that, for example, in terms of thickness, of course, it's actually even a little bit slimmer, but um, there is completely different hardware in both, especially when it comes to camera. When we compare it, for example, with um, an Android device in the same price range like the Moto G, um, also here the 4.7 inch versus 5 inch is, of course, not that fair. But this is a lot heavier and actually, um, hardware wise, it's about the same. So I think uh, Microsoft. Lumia 935 has a lot better hardware and then we have also Chinese companies like for example Honor which is uh, Huawei with 5 inch devices which cost double the price but again about the same quality um, and in thickness it's a lot thicker, you can change the battery, uh, you can expand the memory but it's not a dual SIM device in Europe at least and you can see um, that in terms of size and quality maybe they're about the same but Microsoft costs half the price. Now if we go to higher price devices like for example um, with Samsung and premium devices like the Alpha. And we have here 4.7 inch screen and of course that's smaller but this costs four to five times the price and it's completely not fair. Of course the camera is a little bit better and you have a um, heart rate sensor built in but actually I think those are unnecessary um, functions. So you don't have double tap here, you have to um, unlock it always by pressing it here on the side but it's really quite nice in size. You can hold it quite nicely only in one hand and then unlock it and do anything you want here with only having to hold it one way. Now what I didn't even show you guys is that actually in the browser, um, of course when you type you can also flip the screen around and the animation goes quite fluently here. If you hold it the right way of course or do it fast enough so 
in terms of pros uh, processor, it's definitely fast enough. And then, for example, with the dual sim, you have to watch out, of course, from which um, card you're calling. So you can see it up here that you can switch between number one and number two quite easily. And you can set, give it also different colors so you guys know right away uh, from which one you are calling right now. But again, there's no sim card right now built in. Also here, when you go to the contacts, um, it will have all the contacts on one space, uh, on place, not on different. And you can, of course, also easily search and speed dial and go through your history. You have still the option to, of course, add a few apps in folders, which is quite nice to just have a little bit more space on your screen, as you can see here. So these animations are also quite great. And I think was, this was basically it from a real short review of the 535 Nokia or Microsoft smartphone now, as you can see on the back. It's available in different colors, like, for example, blue Demand. and black or white also. Until next time, peace and again, my name is Balaj, and thank you much for watching.